Welcome back to the Aurora Public Library's Typing Club. My name is Jason, and this is week 10. That's right, we made it to the final week of this series where we've learned how to type on the keyboard. Well, after this lesson, we'll have learned all the uh, major keys that we'll need to type sentences on the keyboard. And we'll finish with the right pinky punctuation keys. Last time, uh, we learned numbers and the punctuation keys on the number row on the keyboard, on above the top row of the keyboard. And we learned five uh, keys for each hand with the numbers one to five typed with our left hand and the numbers six to zero typed with our right hand. And we also learned the punctuation keys in that row. Um, we learned the names of a few new punctuation um, symbols, such as the caret key and the ampersand key, and maybe even the asterisk key. Uh, and we also learned how to type symbols that we're familiar with, like the exclamation mark. So the last keys that we need to learn are the right pinky punctuation keys. And all the keys that we will learn in this lesson are on the right hand side of the keyboard in this area. So for now, let's just learn the names of the keys um, that we will learn in this lesson. And then we can take a look at how they are used once we do the exercises. So let's go through and learn the names of the keys that uh, we will learn in, in this lesson. So the first key that we'll learn is the hyphen key. And it is beside the zero key on the keyboard. And if you press um, shift with the hyphen key, just like when last week when we pressed shift with the one key to type the exclamation mark, um, you will type the underscore key. But we won't um, really learn the underscore key uh, because it's not really used in sentences too much. So we'll just focus on the hyphen key for this lesson. The next key that we'll learn is the semicolon and colon key. So we're, we already know this key since it's the home row position for the pinky. Uh, we already know how to type the semicolon, but if you press shift with the semicolon key, then you get the colon key. And um, if you take a look at, uh, at the two keys, this one has a dot and a period and the colon key has two dots. Uh, the, the next key is the apostrophe key, and um, this one looks like a comma in midair, and this is beside the semicolon key to the right. And if you press shift with the apostrophe key, you get the quotation mark key, which, is, uh, which looks like two commas um, in the air. Uh, and we'll take a look at how these are used as well when we do the exercises. And the last key that we'll take a look at this week is the forward slash key. Um, and it is below the semicolon key in the bottom row, uh, right below the semicolon key. So um, when we learned uh, the movement for L, we learned when we go up, it goes to O, and we go, when we go down, it goes to period. So uh, in the same way, um, for the pinky, the home row position is the semicolon. If you go up, it's the P key, and if you go down, it's the forward slash key. So it's this key right here. And if you press shift with the forward slash key, then you get the question mark. So that's how you can type the question mark. So let's go take a look at the the keyboard, and then we'll take a look at the exercises so we can see how we use these different punctuation keys. And then after that, we'll have learned all the punctuation keys and letters and numbers that we need in order to type sentences. So after we do the exercises this week, we'll be finished learning how to type. And 
all we'll, all we need to do then is practice and we'll get better and better and faster and faster at typing. But first, let's take a look at the keyboard um, to show you how to type these right hand pinky punctuation keys. Let's learn how to type the punctuation keys of the right hand. So if we put our right hand back onto the home position, um, our pinky will type all of the keys that we will learn this lesson, starting with the hyphen. The hyphen is on the number row, so you would have to reach up, just like when we reached up to type zero, we'll reach up to type the hyphen key, like that, from the semicolon on the home row. To type the um, apostrophe key, you go one key to the right of the semicolon to type the apostrophe key. And to type the um, forward slash key, which is below it, you go one key below to the bottom row for the forward slash key, like that on the bottom row. And in order to type the um, colon, quotation mark, and question mark key, so the colon, quotation mark, and question mark key, you would need to type, press these keys along with the shift key using your left hand uh, to type um, those keys. So let's take a look at how we do that with the exercises this week. Let's try the first uh, out of the three exercises this week. And this exercise is focused on the forward slash and apostrophe key. So let's put our right hand on the home, uh, home position and click start. So the first uh, little bit is to train the hand movements for um, the forward slash key. So let's try that. Semicolon slash P slash P semicolon, semicolon P slash, semicolon P slash, semicolon P slash, oops, slash, semicolon, slash, slash, semicolon, slash, semicolon, slash. Okay. L U T. Uh, so let's here, L E T, and then we use the apostrophe. So we go one right from the semicolon. Type the apostrophe. Okay, so let's practice the apostrophe here with semicolon, um, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, semicolon and apostrophe, semicolon, apostrophe, just to practice that movement. Okay, so semicolon, uh, sorry, apostrophes are used in words like, um, compound words like she's, uh, he's, should've, would've, could've. So let's practice some of these words. S-E, S-H-E, apostrophe S, H-E, apostrophe S, S-H, O-U, L D apostrophe V E W O U L D apostrophe V E uh, C O U L D apostrophe V E I uppercase I H A V E N apostrophe T S E E I N S E E N I T period D I D N apostrophe T, D O N apostrophe T, W O N apostrophe T, I T apostrophe S, W E R apostrophe R E, Y O U apostrophe R E, T H E Y apostrophe R E. So um, you can do this exercise more than once, it's nice and short, just to practice the movements from. Um, from semicolon in the home position down to the forward slash and to the right for sem uh, apostrophe. So it's next to each other's, but even though it's next to each other, it's with your pinky, so it might still be challenging. So you can try this exercise and um, 
the other two exercises in this week for more practice as well. So let's take a look at the second exercise now. So this second exercise is focused on the hyphen and question mark keys. So for the question mark, we type um, the forward slash key with our right pinky, and we also press shift with our left pinky. And hyphen is next to the zero. So we go up two rows to the number row from semicolon to type the hyphen key over here. So let's click start. So first letter is uppercase L, ET, apostrophe, remember is next to the semicolon, T-Y-P-E, T-H-E, H-Y-P-H-E-N. Okay, so the f we want to practice the hyphen and we reach up to the, semi uh, to the hyphen key next to zero, um, space, semicolon p hyphen p oh hyphen p semicolon space hyphen p semicolon hyphen semicolon p semicolon hyphen p hyphen p semicolon semicolon p oops p hyphen p semi p hyphen semicolon p semicolon hyphen so hyphens are sometimes used in um, compound words um, where there's a hyphen between two words to kind of join them together. So let's practice typing some of these words. So H I G H hyphen R I S E oh, uh, comma C L O S E hyphen U P comma H I G H hyphen T E C H comma and comma remember is with the middle finger underneath k f a r hyphen o f f comma l i f e hyphen s i z e d uh, comma s i s t e r hyphen i n hyphen l a w uh, comma s e l l f hyphen e s t e m comma m e r r y Oh, hyphen G O hyphen R O U N D period. So now let's practice the question mark. So D I D Y O U K N O W S H I F T A N D F O R W A D oops W F O R W A R D S L A S H T Y P S Q U E S T I O N M A R K S. Okay, so we have our first question mark. So we type it with the forward slash key. So we go down with our pinky and we press shift with our other pinky. So let's practice that. P semicolon forward slash with shift to make the question mark. Question mark semicolon P. Question mark P semicolon. Question mark semicolon P. P question mark semicolon. Uppercase W. So we, it's W is typed with our left hand. So we press shift with our right hand, a, a, w, h, a, t, i, s, t, t, h, e, w, e, a, t, e, r, t, o, d, a, y, question mark again, so we press uh, forward slash with our pinky, and then we press shift with our left pinky, w, h, e, n, w, i, l, l, t, h, e, uh, b, u, s, a R R I V E and then again question mark so forward slash forward slash and shift W H O I S N E X T again forward slash with the pinky and shift with the right uh, with the left pinky. Let me find my place here. Okay. W H E R E I S T H E W A S H R O O M and then again question mark W H Y I S T H E S K Y B L U E and end with a question mark. So we want to practice the hyphen key and the question mark for this exercise. So if you want more practice, you can try this exercise more than once. So let's try the third exercise. Uh, third and final exercise. Um, so we can finish off 
all the keys that we need to type sentences. So let's take a look. This final exercise focuses on the colon key and quotation marks. So the colon, uh, colon key and quotation marks are used when you want to um, type someone saying something. So let's click start and let's read the, the exercise first. So for example, here, when, let's read it. The teacher said, do your math homework tonight. There will be a quiz tomorrow. So if we want to type what the teacher is saying, we can start um, what the teacher is saying with the colon, colon key. And remember, the colon key is the one that has the two periods. And then we can use the quotation marks to begin what they say. So the teacher is saying, do your math homework tonight. There will be a quiz tomorrow. And then at the end of what the teacher is saying, we put another quotation mark there. So we use the quotation marks to kind of sandwich what um, the teacher or whoever is saying something. So let's take another example. Here it says, the waiter asks, uh, what would you like to eat? So here you can say, you, the waiter is asking, what would you like to eat? So what would you like to eat is in the quotation marks, is in between the two quotation marks. And the colon is, um, begins what the waiter is asking. So you, you type the waiter asked, and then you begin it with a quote, uh, colon. And then, uh, you, and then there's a space in between the colon and the quotation marks. And then you put a quotation mark, and then you can type what the waiter is saying. Um, so one more example here, it says the dog said wolf, uh, woof. So the dog said, and then you type colon and then space and then quotation mark. And then what the dog says, which in this case is wolf. And then you end what the dog says with another quotation mark. So that's how you use colons and co colons, I guess, colons and quotation marks in um, when you want to show that someone or something is saying something. So let's practice typing um, the colon and quotation marks with this exercise. So let's put our hands back onto the home row position. Okay, so the first uh, word is a first letter is a capital Y. So you type that with our right index finger and we make it uppercase with our left hand pinky typing the shift key. Y O U C A N T Y P E T H E C O L O N W I T H T H E S I S H I F T K E Y a and D S E M I hyphen C O L O N. Remember hyphen is up there beside the zero. K E Y T O G E T H E R. Let's practice the colon key. So you type the shift key and semicolon key together. So sh shift and semicolon, space, shift and semicolon, shift and colon, shift and semicolon, space. Okay, great. So let's, now let's try the uh, quotation mark. So Y O U. C A N T Y P E T H E C uh, Q U O T A T I O N T A T I O N yep M A R K space W I T H space T H E S H I F T K K E Y A N D A P O S T R O P H K E Y space T O G E T H E R so let's try practicing the uh quotation mark key so it's the apostrophe key which is beside the semicolon key and you uh, type it along with the shift key space so apostrophe and shift space apostrophe and shift space apostrophe and shift space okay so let's practice using them in sentences the teacher said colon space and then quotation mark so we want to use um the um pinky to type the quotation mark and the left pinky to type the shift to press the shift key uppercase d o oh, y o u r m e t h h o m e w r k t o n i g h t h e r e w i l b e q u i z t o m o r o w and then exclamation so we type the exclamation mark with our pinky on the left hand and shift the right hand pinky 
And then we type the quotation mark with our right hand pinky with the apostrophe key and shift with our left hand pinky and then period. Let's try that again. So T-H-E-W-A-I-T-E-R-A-S-K-E-D. Uh, the waiter asked, and then we type colon with the uh, uh, semicolon key and shift space, and then we type quotation with the uh, apostrophe and shift, uppercase W A W H A T W U O U L D Y O U L I K E T E O E A T uh, question mark with the forward slash and left pinky shift, and we type. And we end the quotation with another quotation mark. So we type quotation with the apostrophe key and the left shift, period. And one more. So T-H-E-D-O-G-S-A-I-D co uh, colon with the semicolon key and shift, space semi uh, quotation mark with the apostrophe and shift, W-O-O-F, exclamation with the pinky and shift, pinky with the left hand and shift with the right pinky and then we end the quotation with the uh, uh, quotation mark and shift with the left hand and period and the last sentence of this week is t-o-m-w-o-r-e-h-i-s-b-e-s-t-o-u-t-f-o-u-t-f-i-t -E -E so sometimes um, quote, uh, colons can be used to kind of make a list so in this sentence, it's Tom wore his best outfit. So we're using a colon to describe his best outfit. And in this case, his best outfit is a toque, a sweater, um, and jeans. So we'll type that. A toque, a sweater, comma, and jeans. Great. So yeah, so in this last example, Tom wore his best outfit. The colon is used to show what his best outfit is. And his best outfit is a toque, a sweater, and jeans. All right, so we are done. We are done the exercises for um, all the keys that we need to type sentences with. So the other keys on the keyboard um, that you might find that we haven't learned um, they're mostly for mathematics or for programming and aren't usually um, used in sentences. So you don't need to worry about that just yet. Uh, maybe when you learn programming or when you do more mathematics, then you will learn how to type those keys. But um, when you're not typing sentences, you don't have to put your hands on the home row position. So when you're doing math or when you're doing programming, sometimes it's okay to type those other keys with um, just your index finger um, or your other fingers. Because when you're doing math or programming, you'll have to move from the keyboard to a mouse a lot. And it's... It's, it's not the same as when you're typing sentences. So for us, we learned how to type sentences and paragraphs with the home row position. Uh, and we learned how to type all the keys that we need for, for, for doing that. So uh, now let's take a look at some bonus questions. And uh, well, I'll also put a, a video where I will play Z-Type so you can see if you can beat my score in Z-Type. But let's uh, wrap up this video with by taking a look at the bonus exercises that you can also do to improve your speed and accuracy. So if we take a look at the Key Hero exercise list, underneath the exercises for this week, uh, week 10 right pinky punctuation keys, there are exercises um, for additional practice here. So there are three additional exercises here. So this one is to practice the 26 letters of the alphabet. The second one is to practice numbers. And the third one is to practice the punctuation that we learned on the number row last week and on the uh, right pinky punctuation keys that we learned this week as well. So if you're finished the exercises for this week and 
uh, you have done some of the exercises in previous weeks before, you can have some extra practice with these three exor- um, practice exercises at the very end of the key hero um, exercise list. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for staying with me throughout this 10 weeks of learning how to type on the keyboard. I hope that you had a good time and a fun time learning how to type on the keyboard. Um, Even when it got difficult, when we learned how to type, or when we learned the hand movements for the fourth finger and pinky fingers, because those movements aren't very, um, we don't really practice those in everyday life except for when we're typing. So uh, uh, I know it, it probably was pretty difficult at some point in learning this, but uh, thank you for sticking with it and doing the exercises. I see that most of you do the exercises and get above 90% accuracy. So good job, ladies and gentlemen, for getting that um, high of an accuracy. That is terrific. That is excellent. So keep up the good work for this week as well. And also make sure to check out the other video I'm posting this week about my Z type. So see if you can beat my score in in that as well. So thank you uh, guys and girls for, again, sticking with, uh, with me for these 10 weeks. And I hope you had fun and take care and I'll see you in the next program that I run. So make sure to go on aurorapl.ca and go on to the monthly calendar to see what other programs that we have both in person and virtually. Um, So that's it for the Aurora Public Libraries Typing Club. Thank you and have a great day.